<laughs> People say the most ridiculous things. Like the other day, I was standing out here next to a door and a bloke went like, oh, you can't stand there, that's a fire door. If there's a fire, people are gonna be running out of there. I said, I won't be standing here, will I? I'll be running with every other fucking twat. <laughs> It's like the other day I was standing on the platform of a station, an announcement come over the speaker, the next train is a non-stopping service. I'm standing there, a train went <laughs> What's the point in telling me that? <laughs> That's like walking over to the garden and going, see that train? I'm not getting on it. <laughs> That's like one of us running past the station going, hey, I'm not coming in. <laughs> Same thing. And what is it? What is it? <laughs> With those people that get up out of their seat to get off the bus or the train and you jump in their seat and it's fucking hot, isn't it? <laughs> you think, how can someone's ass generate this much heat? <laughs> Oi, nuclear ass. <laughs> so when you was a kid, you remember your dad had that Austin shipper bill for a car? Remember that? Everything in it was that black vinyl plastic. When he parked it in direct sunlight, fucking hell. <laughs> when it was time to get back in the car, he'd undo the door. It was like he'd undo, undone a fucking pizza oven door, you know? So, <laughs> all your fringe is gone, your eyebrows. He pulled that seat back to get you in the back. You couldn't touch the seats. You were like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You know, your dad would try and, <laughs> your dad would get in the car to try and drive, you know, but everything's fucking hot. The door, the seat, you know, the, the steering wheel, the gear stick. He looked like Mick Jagger in a fucking driving lesson. <laughs> You know, there's us kids in the back seat doing this shit, you know, your mum's up the front doing all this. Your dad is driving. People are waving at us as we're going down the street. Fucking hell, the Rolling Stones are on tour again. <laughs> and what is it? What is it? These days, in, people in cars, right, at level crossings. You know, they're perfectly rational people until they see that barrier start to come down. They run a little bit late and the train's coming. They sit there and they go, ah, mm, here's me in a Fiat Uno, a small crushable object made mostly of plastic and alloy, and here comes a huge fucking train doing 100 miles an hour. Let's see if I can be here. <laughs> ding, 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 fuck! Uh -huh. <laughs> what did they think the train driver was gonna swerve? <laughs> I don't like travelling on the train late at night. I can't stand it. I always think that bloke with the mad swiveling eyes is going to lunge at me and go like, hey, tickets please. <laughs> well, you've got to be careful on trains now. You hear all these stories about people getting mugged. You know, they say in case, case of an emergency on a train, what you've got to do is you've got to pull that emergency cord. Yeah, that's great, that's great. That stops the train. Don't stop the mugger though, does it? Now, you, now you're miles from any station, there's some bloke standing in front of you going, good, I've got more time. <laughs> and you know some idiots, they just want to pour that cord just for a laugh. <laughs> Why do they give idiots that, the option to stop the train? That's one of the train's major controls. That's a handbrake, that is. That's the driver's job, not our job. They don't give everybody a steering wheel to use on the bus, do they? You know everyone's on the bus, I want to go home. Fuck off, we're going to Lidl's. 